Hello my friends and welcome to a new episode of Gran Turismo Sport Circuit Experience with the Silver Racer. Today we start off with a circuit of the Le Mans track, the Circuit de la Sarte. Le Mans is just a 24 hour race at the circuit, it's not actually a race course, it's the actual race itself rather than the circuit so let's get that one out of the way as you can see this is i think this is the second or third attempt i had at this lap that's why you can see the ghost in the front there you can see the ghost in front of me there this is a particularly bad sector the first sector it, it is difficult getting it right so that's my excuse and i'm sticking to it it's practice at this circuit you have to slow down a slight little bit as you come up here so you can take that to turn in right there so you don't get a penalty when you overstep the mark there and as you go into the long straight here and you're coming up to the chicane now it has been a few weeks since my last video mainly because mr gates here standing in front of you actually got the network lead trapped around his foot and went to walk away and the pigs he come crashing down to the floor I lost my hard drive and everything on it so I lost about four or five episodes of um, track to the top so while I was um, away fixing all of that I decided just to go with circuit experience rather than track to the top as you can see I'm coming up to the second um, chicane coming up here now I find with this chicane you have to just stop before the two cones Otherwise, you'll overrun the you'll overrun the corner here. So those two cones, you have to stop just before them there, or you don't meet this um, this second chicane here. Okay. So what I'm hoping to do over the next few weeks is I'm hoping to finish all of the gold medals for the circuit experience. Then I'm hoping to go online and do some that get some daily races for you. But at the moment, I just want to um, finish the uh, circuit experience and get gold medals here on all of the circuits. As they're coming up to a really tricky 90 degree turn here, you have to get that right or you're going off in the sand trap and that's it. Gran Turismo's resetting you there. So going back to the circuit experience here, I'm planning to do a few more videos of that. Finish the laps, especially the Nürburgring Nordschleiser. The, the nice seven minute track number so I plan to do that properly and then we we'll go to live streaming with some daily races and maybe some fundy Sundays okay as we're coming up to the next hard couple of turnings here that you need to be careful that you run, don't run off into that sun run the sand trap there and here if you go too fast you just go straight off there you don't make this turn in here so now it's full speed all the way to the end here now a couple of extra turns so we're planning to do a couple of episodes of circuit experience where I get gold medals at the few remaining laps I've got and then we'll go to doing a weekly live stream and that on a Sunday morning we'll get that sorted out in the next few weeks now we're coming up to the end of the uh, the Le Mans circuit here the circuit de la Sarte um, this should be flat out in six gear around 150 miles an hour so as you can see I'm going a little bit slower here than I was before now you're coming up here this is an easy turning to go off there you need to be very careful at that turning and now you need to brake as you come to the slip there and take these last two chicanes very quickly this one I have a terrible habit of taking far too slow and getting caught up in that sand trap right about now there we go and we did break that lap record by around three seconds 3.2 seconds i break that lap time by i i am still slow on the circuit by i was 15 seconds to start off with slower than that lap and now i'm down to 13.2 and now we come to the second lap which is fisherman's ranch this is a made up uh track which I saw on Gran Turismo Grand Final back in February and I thought it was a nice idea for Gran Turismo to show these in the big event so I thought when I got the game I thought you know what I'll play these tracks because if Gran Turismo shows them in the final then they're worthy of playing so as you can see here this is a, a rally stage or a rally circuit um, it's different from your typical racing circuit obviously because it's covered in mud and handles a bit differently but it, it makes a nice difference i do like these 
tracks. They're a little bit different, as you can see, the ghost goes sliding off and, st <laughs> and still beating me. <laughs> um, but no, I do like them, and I, I will continue to race these, um, ra these rally circuits, but not on a weekly basis, maybe a monthly or a, a quarterly, just to see how well I'm doing in them um, by pacing myself against the gold medal time. So this is a long track coming up to three and a half minutes here. So we've got a long wait to see whether or not I can I can beat that time there. Is you have to be careful when you go jumping over that corner there. You need to be careful that it doesn't run you wide like it did with me. And again, it's one of those corners that leads into that hairpin there that you have to be careful with. And these downward hills, I was gonna call them hill slides here, but if you're not careful, you will slide all the way down them. You need to be take them and get the corners just right so it doesn't throw you too far out. You've got to stay on the racing line there. These are the tracks where you do need the racing line on rather than the big Grand Prix circuits. As you can see, I think we're coming down to the lowest part of the tracks here now with a big long straight here. Which is particularly difficult with straight is because if you can see here, you're coming up to a little bit of a jump at this corner here. If you don't slow down at that corner, you hit that corner there. You need to slow down before you take the jump and turn slightly so you miss that bump. And it's flat out all the way up here until you take this little, little bit of a left hander here. Slam on the brakes and slide all the way round. And you need to be careful here that you don't go too fast and you slide off on that turn in there. As you can see, I just about hold it in second gear there. As I said, this is the second or third attempt at this lamp, so I'm getting used to it. I only play these tracks about once a month. I, I do like them, but they don't come up that often on Gran Turismo, so it's, it's just a shame. It'd be nice to get them to try it every week, and yeah, as you go sliding off there at that corner. It's been a pretty poor lap so far, but we'll see how close I come to getting the gold medal. If I do get a gold medal, who knows? You'll have to wait and find that. I've only got two minutes, it's not like 50 sleeps till Christmas. Um, as you can see, we're just holding it on there, we're coming up to, I think this is the second, this is the last lap timer there, so we've got to take another couple of corners and that's us. Don't lose it here. Oh, just about held it there. Now don't forget, if you do like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that like button. By hitting, clicking on that like button, it encourages YouTube to share my videos with other like-minded heroes like yourself. No good television when you see it, okay? And as we come to the end of that lap there, as you can see, we missed out on a gold medal by a couple of seconds there. And I'm frankly looking for my notes, yeah. We missed out that, that lap by 2.2 seconds. This is a real shame, but next time we'll get it, eh? Now we're going to Monza in Italy. As you can see, as obviously as we're in Italy, we have to be driving a Ferrari because it's in Italy. Okay, and as we come up to the, the wonderful first chicane here where everyone seems to get this turn as you slam on the brakes and you turn it. As you can see again, this isn't my first lap because of the ghost. But if you get the first turning right, the first chicane, you leave your ghost standing. So I don't think we'll be seeing that ghost again today. As we're coming up to the second set of chicanes here, again I find, as you can see I've got the brake markers on the two little cones, they're the brake markers, you need to brake just before them so you can get there in time in second gear to take them. Now again, it, it's, it, it's two, these two Degna corners and then it's flat out. I, I, Mons is tricky to learn, but I, I, I'm not a great fan of the track itself. It's a bit too... Not enough going on in it. I like a, a lot more turns, high speed turns, and not so many chicanes. But as we go up in top speed here, and then just after the... Just at the bridge, you slam on your brakes there to make this chicane here. Now, you've got to hug that corner there, but don't go on to the yellow curbstones there. That will hurt you. You've got to swing and get on those curb stones and it fires you up. It does increase your speed when you hit those curb stones there. 
so you do need to hit them and then you break just before the two cones there at the 100 meter mark you slow down just before it before the 100 meter mark and then you take this the last corner here at, at a good speed and you come out as we're coming to the end now hold your breath <gasps> there we go and we got a silver medal we missed it by what two hundredths or two tenths of a second never mind we'll get there next week eh? So hopefully we will <laughs> okay and here we go that's the end of the um hot laps there so we're going to stage two at autopopolis there autopopolis was not an original track it was only quite recently it was put in the new update quite recently there it is a nice track i do like it this is one of the last stages i have left as you can see I, i've done it before now this is a tricky corner here you have to get this right on in second gear and then you don't squirm there like a fish towel and then you go up here now on this corner you have to be gentle on the throttle you have to keep the throttle you have to keep feather in it so you, you keep to the racing line there and that will speed you up there i lost a bit of time by going off the racing line here and then you slam on your brakes and you take this hairpin on second gear and then you floor it and then that takes us to it and are we gonna make it yes we made it there by what three hundredths of a second you can't well you can get closer than that because i missed it by closer than that in the last one so you can get closer than that okay so that's the end of monza now what what we're coming up to now is the Nordschleife, the Nürburgring. All, all, all seven minutes of it. Okay, now this is stage one. Now, as you can see, the, the ghost there, I've been trying this before. The first turning there is really difficult because you have to slam on the brakes as soon as you hit that bridge or you're not making the turn. As you can see here, this is a, a deceptively fast sector. The first one is you have to average 140 miles an hour around there or you're just not making it around these turns. Third gear all the way. You can't take your foot off the pedal. You have to be averaging at least 90 on this first sector for you to make it. If you're not averaging, you've got to be careful then not to fly off. You've got to take that at the right speed at the right angle. Now, one thing I did notice, that the actual sector is about there where the gold medal ends right at that bridge or just after it so you're not actually doing the full sector of the track you're doing slightly less just something i noticed when i was watching the replay there just in case you're interested and if this is the sort of fact that you like this don't forget to leave a comment below that you like these interesting facts or you knew them before and you've got another interesting fact please leave them below i like reading all your comments okay and this is where we come to the second sector now as you can see we're coming over the bridge which we just finished on so now now this is deceptively brine turn you can even take this at, i will take it at, in fifth gear around 130 miles an hour and then it, it's fifth gear all the way around here now as we come up this hill now we'll find that this turn this coming up to this turn is really difficult took me a long time to get it right there and then you slow down right here down to third gear you take this corner in third gear at 75 miles an hour and then power away and are we going to get gold there oh yes we've got gold by what <laughs> seven hundredths of a second <laughs> that's close closer than the last one Seven hundredths of a second there gives us a gold medal. That's the difference between winning and losing. Seven hundredths of a second. Okay. And you can see we're going to stage four in there. Now, here we go. Stage four. It's 51.2 seconds long, stage four is. So, again, this is a tricky little turn in it. You have to stay in fifth gear. If you're not in fifth gear, you're not making that. You're not making these turns at the right speed to 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 get the gold medal so you need to you need to be going fast and slowing down right down to second gear to take that turn in and then speeding up all the way again there now i do find these two little turnings here quite difficult 
especially this one you have to break before that turn you can't or you'll go off like that if you don't break finish your breaking before that corner you'll go off like i did there and again that little turn you've got to be careful when you come out of it you'll fishtail like i almost did and there we go there's uh by six tenths of a second i made that gold medal and it gives me it's saying i didn't do i'm just a bit better than mediocre there of gran turismo thinks with 67 points okay and now we're coming up to stage eight of the north schleifer okay now this is the one that i'm having the sector that i'm having the most trouble with okay now once you go past this turn by the little um guard station there or the steward marshal station all right reminds me of a prison cap that corner uh, now it's fourth gear all the way here you, you must be foot planted in fourth gear taking all these corners if you slow down you won't make a gold medal you really won't this is why i'm not making it so you have to keep it there now you jump down into third gear you can't take this corner rear in fourth gear it will throw you wide into the grass and into the barriers and if you're if you're not at third gear at that corner there it was you will oversteer and understeer there it's something shocking again you need to take that corner really well and as you can see i just missed it there by what half a second by what two hundredths of a second or one hundredth or two tenths of a second i should say now we come to the final circuit okay circuit de la cruz or crooks we'll cross my french isn't that good okay now this is the tricky first turning you can spend hours trying to get this right i went to the approach of going a little bit slower around this corner so i could make it around that turning there because i spent hours trying to get those first two corners right and then getting them wrong as you can see i had a quick look behind me there see i was about half a second in front of my ghost so it's just foot down all the way here and you break just before the 150 mark you slow right down now it's, it's a deceptive turning there you've got to make the apex if you don't make the apex there you're going wide and you're losing time okay again this is another blind corner you've got to take that at third gear about 80 miles an hour and then just again plant yourself now i find coming to this tricky little corner you have to do all your braking and changing the gears before you hit that apex there or you're just going to go wide into that crash barrier there the car will understeer on you and you'll go off again you have to break around just before the hundred ball there <laughs> you've got to be careful along here oversteer and understeer if you're in the wrong gear it really does hurt you like that corner there you can go off into the sand trap there and if you must at this point with the bridge coming up to the large bridge you must meet your apexes here that should be, that was a little bit slow there should maybe have been five or ten miles an hour faster at that corner there but as you're coming up to the main bridge here you 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 need to be in all these apexes you need to slow down when you get that tarmac there into third gear and then blast the way up this bridge as you're crossing it just blast it full flow don't stop now when you come to the end here as you go into this blind turn in here you must break around the 150 mark slow down to around 75 in third gear and then plant your foot now this is now you, you're going coming up to the last sector here this is a quite you've got to drop your corner there you've got to drop your speed and drop your gear to the fourth gear or you'll run you're oversteering on that barrier there you want to cut as close to that barrier as you can there now it's again full speed all the way down here okay and we, and we come to the end of this straight which we're coming to in, in a few seconds now here we go we're coming up in now you just have to break just before the 150 mark in a straight line or you'll wiggle all over the road there you'll fishtail everywhere when you go off everywhere got break in a straight line there now this is where you've got this stage here the last stage here you've got to get your gears right if you're not gearing right you've got to keep to the edge there and meet that apex or you're going right into the crash barrier and meet that farm man in there he won't happy that farmer won't be happy if you crash into eastfield okay now take this corner because this is coming up to the last corner now 
hit that apex and speed up. You've got to be in fifth gear until you reach this corner here. Then turn down into third gear. As you turn that, put the power on all the way down to the bottom here. Turn in fifth gear, full fifth gear as you turn this corner here. And then it's, yeah, again, it's just planting your foot down there and seeing if we can, if we can do it. Can we do it? 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 Yeah. Yes, there we go. By what? By nearly a second. <laughs> As you can see now, that it says I'm 130 points. And it says I was a good driver there. Wow, thank you there, Gran Turismo. It's very kind of you. Okay, and that wraps us up nicely for this episode of um, Circuit Experience. Don't forget, if you like this episode, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe okay and don't forget to hit the notification button now i should be making weekly videos at the moment okay so until next week so good luck goodbye and i will see you on the next lap thank you for enjoying this episode of circuit experience as we see what car did i win what car come on oh, oh could have been a rolls royce but anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode and I look forward to seeing you again in next week's episode. Thank you very much. You take care. Goodbye and good luck and I'll see you on the next lap.